Francesco Vezzali, guest curator of Museum 2016, a decisive choice. We are a museum of contemporary art in the 21st century and therefore we can only be a fluid museum. A museum where the new purchased works give new life, new light to the already existing ones. Who better than Francesco Vezzali to curate our collection because in his work he always creates bizarre juxtapositions, plays with history, makes a kind of temporal short circuits. In our collection parkour, he has decided to put frames of important masterpieces around our artworks. You can see here a Dadanaino in a Fragonard frame. With this act, he also gives an excellent example what happens when you look at an artwork. We always put a kind of sentimental frame around an artwork. I knew Bolzano already, I, I knew Museion of course, but uh, when I had to approach it from a professional point of view, I pleasantly realized how much of a, um, how can we say, meteorite is fallen from the sky. Museion is and represents for this region and for the cultural heritage of this region itself. So that was a very interesting point of beginning for the conceiving of the exhibition that then we decided to do, which is called the Museo Museion. Uh, it's an exhibition that it's about this juxtaposition of different elements, different feelings, different styles, different periods in art. Museum, the first retrospective of the sculptural production of Francesco Vezzali, an artist who is maybe more well known for his embroideries or for his videos, but already in those works he has always played with history, also in a joyful way. And uh, on this platform we can see 19 very heterogeneous different sculptures uh, and in the first moment uh, we could also think about a joke of the artist uh, but uh, if we look closer we recognize that it's uh, a very earnest game because effectively the sculptures in the antique were colored and some heads on torsos uh, were twisted off and twisted on because of technical reasons. Uh, so uh, we find here an Italian artist uh, who wants to work on, on our past, maybe to know better his own identity, but who shows us also how fascinating can be our past. I think uh, rather than provocation, I would call it an attempt uh, to reconcile or to put in a dialogue different elements. So to say provocation to put uh, the frame of a, of a real Caravaggio around uh, an ungolden that is evoking Caravaggio is just an attempt to create a more dialectic uh, vision of history of art. I don't believe in greed, I don't believe in rules. To say one last thing, most of the sculptures installed on the top floor have as a reference a very famous essay called Antico non Antico by Ranuccio Bianchi Bandinelli. And this very famous essay explained how history of art is an history of mischiefs, mistakes, juxtaposition. History of art is a history of political incorrectness and intellectual one. So, I'm not doing a major provocation, I'm just reflecting.